is the uh, inverter heat pump. This is split phase. Uh, I believe this is two ton. If, uh, model number indicates anything there. 24 is probably 24,000 BTU. So I've got the uh, orifices are shut there. This is 410, so it's got those oversized goofy orifices. Uh, look at this outdoor unit fan. It's all encapsulated in plastic. So there's a, this is actually one of them ECM type fan motors. It's a, a electronically commutated motor. Uh, very thin wires. Looks like it's a probably 20 gauge, 22 gauge. It actually runs on uh, 220 volts. I think it's kind of silly. And then they encapsulate the whole thing in plastic. Pretty much nothing you can do with it once it burns out. So uh, this is actually the compressor wire I'd cut off. I was trying to run the compressor off of VFD. VFD was undersized. So I'll take the cover off here. Uh, there we have the side and top removed. Really nothing to it. A few screws and it uh, it just slips in. It's really a throwaway technology here. It's pretty uh, pathetic, really. So the fan mounted right there, obviously. There's our inverter. Here would be the compressor wires that I cut. Oh, how the electronics are underneath. Uh, has a small amount of sealing on the circuit board. So it has a conventional relay there. And we have this mat, some type of fiberglass or something probably, or something that's gonna make you itch. Don't wanna touch it too much. So we got the classic heater. Here's the, the reactor, or the inductor. The reactants for starting at higher load, higher RPM for the inverter. There's compressor wire. Small, very small reversing valve. See the size of my hand, I mean, I can. I can pretty much cover the whole thing up. That's kind of cute. And uh, down in that shiny thing, right in the middle of the screen, is the refrigerant control. I'm not sure if that's a stepper or some type of uh, like voice coil arrangement. That's actually wires are right here, so it's probably a stepper, but it could also be a voice coil. It also has lots of thermistors all over the place. Uh, there's a high pressure switch. This is wired in series with uh, what else we got here? There's another switch. Um, not quite sure where that goes. Uh, uh, must be a temperature switch on the compressor too. And then that goes up, goes up the relay. It'll shut it off if any of those faults occur. And then there's a uh, I said there's a thermistors on there. That's for the outdoor coil. And here's the outdoor, I believe that's just a temperature sensor there. And it's just two wires. It's just temperature. So really there's not much to that there. 